today I come to you with my July wrap-up, favorites, reviews, everything. So the first book I read this month was A Really Awesome Mess by Trish Cook and Brennan Halpin, and this one was hilarious, heartwarming, and just good. Good. It's about, uh, basically it focuses, uh, it's dual narrative of uh, this girl and this guy, and uh, they are both sent to Heartland Academy, which is for uh, for teenagers with like mental illness and stuff like that. And uh, they get grouped up in uh, anger management, and uh, basically they kind of have to figure out how to uh, get good points to uh, have some freedoms. Uh, because they're totally cut off from the outside world, basically. They can call their parents like once a week or something like that. But other than that, they can't have internet, anything like that. And so, uh, basically, they find uh, ways to kind of help each other out. And so, shenanigans ensue, of course. That's what I love about this novel. It's just shenanigans all the way through, but both being, uh, you know, hilarious and uh, real. And then I read Shades of Earth, which I started during the Booktubeathon week, which I, it's the only book that I really read that week. Oh, I also read uh, Mark of Athena. Totally forgot about that. Duh. Uh, but basically, Shades of Earth, that was pretty good. Pretty good wrap up of, uh, or wrapping up of that series. Uh, basically, I read it for the, uh, you know, finish up a series kind of thing. And uh, so, yeah, it was intense. But it was like everything that I would have wanted in a sci-fi young adult novel. So, uh, Mark of Athena. Mark of Athena. Oh, Mark of Athena. I, uh, listened to the audiobook of that, which was kind of confusing because all the girl voices kind of sounded the same. Uh, because it's narrated by one person. It's this guy, and, and he's pretty good. But all the girl voices kind of blended together sometimes, except for Hazel because she had a southern accent. But other than that, I was like, is it Piper? Or is it... Is it Annabeth? I don't know. The guy's voices, for the most part, were easier to kind of figure out because, for whatever reason, Percy was a surfer dude, and, uh, sort of. And then, um, Leo was kind of also surfer-ish dude, but a little bit more laid back with the voice. I liked the book. It was pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Uh, long, long, but good. I liked it. But basically, For Mark of Athena brings up together all of these characters, these characters that we've had in separate books. It just brings them all together as far as having their one story and the, uh, the premonition, the prophecy over their t togetherness. Yeah? <laughs> what am I saying anymore? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, this was really cool to see them all interact with each other. I really like the uh, conversation, well, not really conversation, but basically the inner thoughts of Jason and Percy uh, talking about their hero complex and uh, Annabeth actually going off on her own and doing uh, her quest type thing, which I know would be hard because she's been questing with other people for the past years, years, even before she was a hero. Demigod thing. Uh, you know, she had Talia and, um, and, um, yeah, what's his name? Evil guy. 90% of the stuff in this book when it's just like, you have a serious moment and then Rick Riordan's like, hey, I'm gonna throw in a joke. You will not see this coming. Just curveball joke. And it's great. It's great. As far as the cliffhanger goes, literal cliffhanger. Literal cliffhanger. And the most recent book that I've read this month is Falling Hard. Uh, this is a uh, Roller Girls book, and it's by Megan Sparks. And it's about this girl who, uh, she comes over to America with her dad. Uh, basically, they've been living in London all her life. Uh, her parents met in London, and her dad's from the United States. And so they basically moved back to his hometown, where he wants to start a, a, um, a not really, cafe kind of restaurant type thing, diner. Diner. We're gonna call it a diner. And, uh, she, she's like, I'm gonna move with you, Dad, because Mom's kind of a stickler, she's been working all the time, better to hang out with you and have an adventure. And so she comes to America, and she's been a gymnast for a while, and, but she's too tall. She's too tall to be a gymnast anymore, so she's like, okay, I'm gonna try out to be in the cheerleading squad. And then she finds out about roller derby, and she's like, okay, I like that too. And then when she, uh, gets asked for, kind of, kind of asked for both, uh, you know, she has to make a decision, and it's like, do I want to be popular and hang out with popular kids, or do I want to be comfortable with myself and hang out with people that are awesome and whatnot, and yes. Um, but she does find out that there's, you know, complications in both areas, but, but, for the most part, there's great things. Basically, it's a Disney Channel original movie in a book form, really. 
That's that's what I thought about it, Matt. That's what I had in my review. I was like, look, guys, look at this. This is awesome. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun read. It makes it for a fun read. And um, I think the second book is already out. I don't know. I'm really confused with the uh, release dates of this book because on um, NetGalley it said uh, October 1st. And then everywhere else it says, like, July. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. And so, yeah, if you can find this book, I know it's on Book Depository. I know that much. I tried to find it on Amazon and there's like one book. I don't know. But I would go on Book Depository to find it. I'll put links below to that. And you can find all these things. And I'll post my reviews down below so you can see longer reviews of things. Yay! Yay! But yeah, I only read four books this month, which was totally fine. That's more than none. So, I'm glad. Uh, below I have my sublime list of these books, so if you want to see and check them out, go there. Okay, I hope you all have a great week. And uh, see ya in a couple days for other videos. Yep. Bye.